don't know Jack. I'm Dennis Lyon. I'm Jake Fillock. I'm Laura Hazemore. And you don't this know Jack. Is... <laughs> there should be a title screen at some point, maybe. Television. Jelly Jelly Vision. Jelly Vision. <laughs> a bit of jazz there. I'm buzzing with the letter Q in case you didn't hear that. I'm buzzing with the letter B. And I'm P. If you think you're good at other quiz games, you don't know Jack now. <laughs> you don't know Jack. <laughs> does, that make, does that mean it's harder? Hmm? Mm, harder than what? They're, we they're weird questions more than anything. Let's Dan go! Dan is dish. <laughs> This is Volume One XL. Recently came out on Steam. One of them right, I'm gonna be impressed for at least ten seconds. All right, time to pass out the screws. Here you go, one screw for each of you. You can screw all the players. So you get a question, and you know that your neighbor knows that you know that neither of you know what the hell the answer is. Then you better be the first to buzz in and hit the S key. That's how you screw your neighbor. It forces them to answer that question. Remember, if you're gonna get screwed, screw first. All right, let's do it. You get one screw for the whole game. I think so, yeah. What? Choose one. One, two, or three. What did you pick? Three. Sibling rivalry, wasn't it? This one's gonna yeah. be sibling rivalry, and we are talking one thousand dollars. Okay, boys and girls, it's time for a history lesson. All right, let's say you're the U.S. Your little brother's Nicaragua, and your mother is France. You and your brother have a fight. What prevents your mom from interfering? Manifest Destiny, the Geneva Convention, the Mayflower Compact, or the Monroe? <laughs> Go for it. No, I think that's part of your mom's makeup kit. <laughs> Oh, your dad was Swiss or something? <laughs> I, I, I buzzed. Uh, okay. So I was trying for anyway. The Monroe Doctrine. President Monroe said that if anything goes down in our hemisphere, oh. it's our turf, man. Ah, <laughs> oh, what a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Process of elimination that it probably wasn't manifest destiny. Let's have a category, player oh. two. Oh. Famous Richards. Famous dicks. <laughs> The two the category behind this question is famous Richards. You get this one right, you got two thousand bucks coming at you. Two thousand two two K in this. On a lost episode of the TV show The Wonder Years, Kevin recounts the time he and Paul had spotted Dick. To what is he referring? A now I, I think that'd be the time Kevin's brother spent a long weekend in Reno. Hey. Is he actually referring to the pudding, or is it's yours, baby. he was actually Boom. referring to the pudding? Oh, it's pudding. It's made of fat and dried grapes or currants. Okay, oh. a little tip for you travelers going to England: don't forget to pack your own. Food. I don't know what the one he is. Is I thought it might be a comedy thing. <laughs> what do you want, Dan? Uh, speak up! I think you're dead. Yeah. Three. Speak up, I think you're dead. And this three thousand dollars. Three K. Thoreau, prolific author and creator of the wilderness classic Walden, was unfortunately not so prolific on his deathbed. What were Thoreau's last words? Trees everywhere. Moose, Indian. By now or my. Go for. It. Oh, but wouldn't that have been great? <laughs> <laughs> it would have been. That would have been great. Player two, player three. Player three, take it. By now. By now. Player two. Is that also wrong? It was most <laughs> yes. Indian. So I'm now what? winning. The answer is <laughs> what the moose. fuck? Indian. God, don't you wonder what the hell he was thinking? Yes. Apparently about mooses <laughs> and Indians. Ooh, let's Come go on. with number two. Snobby versions and jokes about flashing. That's not slick crime store. It's time for a liquor pitch no scope. What? <laughs> what? what is wrong with this? <laughs> gibberish question. Snobby virgins and jokes about flashing. Opening value on this gibberish question: five thousand bucks. What? So I'm about thirty seconds to solve this puzzle, but I'm gonna be taking a little bit of money away every second and a half. Oh my god. Okay, you ready? What tired old joke does this rhyme with? Oh, step the pure Miss Chris Hoeing. I don't know. And number one, you're exposing something. Would you like a little stripper music? Go for it, player one. Type in your... uh, Goes 
for the gold and ends up with the goose egg. Let's try. Anybody else want to try? But don't be ashamed. What? I don't even know. It's I'm not even sure what the person is asking. Last hint, just skin and bear it. Are those what? supposed to be hints? Yes. Uh, yeah. What? I can't believe you forgot one of the oldest jokes in the universe. Hey, Jenny! Or stop the pure mistress hoeing! Oh. The epidermis is showing. I oh, I was meant oh. to write the whole sentence. I don't- I still don't get it. The epidermis is showing, the epidermis is your skin. Someone thinks, oh no, my something shouldn't be showing. Let's go for number one. What was number one? Something about nuns. <laughs> Right, Question five. And you thought nuns were tough. The amount on the table mm -hmm. is three grand. Three grand. Hey, those first century three. saints were something else. The patron saint of dentists, St. Lambert, punished himself by sitting overnight in the snow for breaking the monastic order of silence. How did he break the rule? He sneezed, he hiccuped, he cracked. <laughs> Go. Bless me, Father, for I have tooted. <laughs> Did you know that one? Oh, was that right? Yeah. It doesn't go like a green. Go. The question doesn't go green if you get it right. I just sort of guessed because it was funny. Okay. Oh, oh wow. Abbott's in the wiggle pool. Yes. Here's the category. Wabbits in the Weagle process. And it looks like you can win oh, only a thousand bucks for this one. Okay, get your fingers ready. Let's one get thousand green ones. Imagine that Elmer Fudd is arrested for hunting rabbits out of season and Fudd speak which of the following is not one of his Miranda rights. <laughs> Player one, who you want to screw? Uh, how do I pick? Two or three, I think. Um... You know what happens when you take too long to screw someone? Oh, gee, guy. You get screwed yourself. Oh, you took too long. Uh, I don't understand the buttons. Ah. Uh. He has to answer it. Oh, you have to answer it. Oh. <sighs> Remaining silent is what you should have done. Oh. This game is just defunct. This is. This wow. makes sense. That was a bad guess. Okay. I'm so oh, fucking confused. I know, it's gonna be three. The right to a phone call. Yeah. Not one of his Miranda rights, but he does have the right to have Bugs Bunny drop a heavy object on his skull. Oh, not one of his rights. I've... This game is... I don't know what's going on. Oh, it's your chance to choose. My turn. Mm. Uh, taxi cabs and Satan sla slam me. <laughs> Some down want someone to slam him. Seven. The name in this category is Slam Me, and this one's gonna be two thousand. Two thousand green ones. Okay, coming at you, heads up. <laughs> you meet someone who tells you she knows Emma Slan. What do you know about her? She can speak Whoa. to deaf people. She can't speak English very well. She was involved in a financial scandal, or she knows someone named Hamslan. Go for it. No, that would be. Ah. <sighs> uh, damn. Um, I'm gonna guess. Speak to deaf people. Yes, I'm currently at zero. <laughs> oh. oh, I get it now. I'm slang. I'm reckless, aren't I? Oh, um. Who? I'm gonna go for number one. Number one, the Green Mountains of Ice Cream. Green Mountains of Ice Cream. Where would you find Green Mountains of Ice Cream other than the home of Ben and Jerry's in Burlington, Vermont? And the Green Mountains of Vermont, they're located in area code 802. Good to know. <laughs> tight, kitties. We're going on a fiber optic field trip. <laughs> what is this? Okay, we're just uh, flipping through the uh, Burlington, uh, Vermont uh, phone book here and pick out a name at random. And how about Mr. Pablo Guzman? I don't know what's happening. <laughs> okay, we are calling Pablo Guzman in Burlington, Vermont. And uh, area code 802. Let's see if he's home. Oh, is he home? Trying to reach Pablo Guzman for our fiber optic field trip here. Hello? Hello, is this Pablo Guzman? Uh, yes it is. Pablo, hey, my name is Nate, and I'm the host of a CD-ROM game show called You Don't Know Jack in Chicago, and we pulled your name at Sweet. random out of the Burlington White Pages. So I know this is kind of a strange call. I'm not selling anything. The reason I'm calling is because I'm looking for a really great this. trivia question that we can use on our program, and I was hoping you can help us out. Um... Won't take a lot of time. There's no strings attached. We're, we're a nationally distributed program. I guess I, I don't have too much time here. But, it won't uh, take a lot of time, and actually, most people who do this, Pablo, say it's a lot of fun. So, you want to do it? Um, yeah. Great. Uh, I guess if I could do it, uh, 
if I could do it right now or something. No, absolutely. Uh, That's what we're doing it right now. But let me just really ask you quickly, what, what is it that you do out in Burlington, Pablo? Well, uh, I'm an ethnobotanist um, at Ooh. a uh, major institution Ooh. in the area, uh -huh. and um, I do research. That's cool. What, what are you Go, working on right now? Got a job. I, uh, it's, I've got some, you know, government contracts doing research, and, but I'm really not at liberty to say. Uh, uh, that's fine. Um, yeah, wouldn't want to reveal government secrets here. <laughs> Pablo, I'm going to uh, transfer you over to our producer, and he'll explain to you how this whole thing works and help you come up with a question. But it's up to you. The question's up to you, so be creative. Okay, I'll put on my thinking cap. Okay, great. Stay on the line. Yes. Okay, we'll be back to our fiber optic field trip in just okay. a few questions, but in the meantime, we need another category. <laughs> right, okay, good. Thanks for that. <laughs> category. Okay. Oh, oh wow. don't stick that there. Oh. That's what she said. The category. Don't stick that there. <laughs> okay, shouldn't be too tough. This question's going to be worth a grand. Get your eyes focused on One grand. Here we go. Which of the following would be most likely to hit a uvula? A broom handle, a tongue depressor, a player, a tongue depressor. What's a uvula? It's the thing that back your throat. Thing in your throat. Yeah. Do you know that? No. Player one, ah. give me a category. Uh, four wing beast, a full house, cocaine astrology. Did you did you wash your hands, Jake? Did you wash your hands? The category is... Did you wash your hands? I'm paying out $2,000 if you get this one right. Hope you're ready, because here's one coming at you. Ooh, Which of the ooh. following words is pronounced correctly? Now listen carefully. Nuclear, memento, foliage, or larynx. One more time. Nuclear, memento, foliage, or larynx. It's not foliage, it's foliage. thought you'd do especially well on this one. I, guess oh. I, I know it's not number one. I'll give you that much. Memento. I always think it was four, I'll be honest. You can choose. Let's go for number two. That's pretty big, Mac. Talking about his pain. His pain, pain! And this one's gonna be worth $1,000. One towel, one towel. Because here it comes. To all beef patties, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions on a sesame seed bun. What's missing? Go for it, player one. Special sauce. I don't know if that's good or bad that I got that right. Some clown feeding me something called I knew it, but then I was, I was a bit slow. <laughs> Do you know you can ask for special sauce and anything? Really? Yeah. Oh, we're getting more screws now. Not that we know how to use them. Press S. Yeah, you, but you then how do we choose? Press and press S. And then what do you do? Yeah, that's... Um, you press one, two, or three, I guess. No, because no, I tried that. Tried oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yes, I am. All right, hold tight, here we go. Come on, Gusman, give it to us. Come on, hit us with it. All right, Pablo, what's the category? Uh, my category is uh, voodoos and don'ts. Cool voodoos category. and don'ts. All right, this will be nice. worth 5,000 bucks. All right, Pablo, it's all yours. Okay, put your fingers on your buzzers. Wrong. Sorry, right, the that. question is... What role does zombieism serve in Haitian voodoo religion? Go for Pablo, what would you say to capital punishment? Congratulations, you picked the correct answer. Yes. How did you know that? I just knew it. Voodoo I, I know a lot about zombies. ...within the community mm -hmm. into a zombie upon request of the agreed party. Pablo, great. Because zombies are a real thing. Thank you so much for your help. Did you well, know that? Sorry, in, in, in what capacity do you mean zombies are a real thing? No, no, Brain dead workers, but they can't transfer zombies and bites. With, so great. They do uh, bite though. So we've got your address and uh, we'll send you a t-shirt and a copy of the program, okay? Oh shit, oh, he gets a t-shirt. I want a t-shirt. It's me too. <laughs> Can you imagine having to record this? What do you mean? Like being in the... Player two, pick one. Um... Rocky 26, the old years. Can, like, can you imagine being in the Rocky 26, the studio having to record this all this? Yeah. 4K for this one. Okay. 4K. This one only sounds dirty. If the movie hero Rocky decided to put down his boxing gloves and start whacking his shuttle, oh. player two, oh. what are you <laughs> badminton? Why did you run to press the button? I don't know. I wanted to press ads because I knew he knew it. So what, you're gonna give it to you? Him? Can't. It's when you know oh, that they yeah. don't know it. Okay, so for that one. 
The Those category team. of this question is questions you forgot you knew. I'll pay you four thousand dollar bills for this one if you get it right. Okay, get yourself four thousand individual dollar bills. Who shot Jr. Pamela Barnes Ewing, Kristen Shepard, Miss Ellie, or Sue Ellen Shepard Ewing? Player one. Go Pregnant with Jr.'s child, Sue Ellen's sister shot Jr. Did you know that? Yep. I took history. I learned something. I know, but Jr. was quite recent. I thought you did like old stuff. Not really. One, it's up to you. What we oh, doing? how often do you do it? <laughs> let's. I do. I know the answer to how often I do it. I don't know. We'll find out. All right. Let's see what we're doing here. How often do you do it? Six thousand. Six thousand bucks as many times as you want me to. Not as often as I used to before I agreed to be the host of this show. But that's another story. <laughs> Here's the question. Which of these events is best described as happening once in a blue moon? Volcanic eruptions. Go for it, play. Volcanic eruptions. I've gone from negative to positive. And a full moon is oh. caused by my ash being up in the air. <laughs> Player one, give me a category. Let's go for strippers. 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 Four thousand. Imagine yourself traveling down a road that never ends. You pass your point of origin again and again. Where are you most likely traveling? Go for it. The Mobius Strip. It's a one-sided continuous surface that never ends. And you knew that how? It's maths. Okay. That's just two. Yankee about? Zero. Give the Power Rangers a ring. Oh, Shift come on. on. Power Rangers. Ah. Oh. Nah. Oh. Nah. <laughs> what was that? It's going to be crazy diverse this show. Imagine that Benito Mussolini wants to take up a new leisure activity, so he hires on one of the legends of this particular sport to instruct him. If Benito Mussolini calls Willie Moscone to help him learn to stroke his balls, what are they most likely playing based on who Willie Mo Player one, go nuts! Billiards. That was a guess. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> but I, I've learned that this game is basically guess or <laughs> risk not getting the answer right. Oh, jam. Or favorite reruns. Nursery rhyme characters and their favorite diets. The category is nursery rhyme characters and their diet plans. A right answer will get you two. Two smackers. Maybe you remember this nursery rhyme. Jack Spratt could eat no fat. His wife could eat no lean. Which of the following foods could Jack Spratt eat? French. Quick, do your buzzer. Hey, block it. Wrong key. Ah, ah, there we go. Ah, uh, yeah, you do press a number, you just didn't do it fast enough. Oh, I'll go on to now. Um, Big Mac? Not much of a nutritionist, are you? <laughs> no, I didn't hear what they could and couldn't eat. Screw him. Let's try. It, it, so. Him using this screw. Good! No. <laughs> Oh, I lost two town. <laughs> oh, the one that's left. Okay, I would have <laughs> guessed. The mustard might not cut it. Ah, I cut the mustard. Player three, pick a category for me. Ooh. Go on. Three. A great place to pitch a tent. Here's In your category. bed. A great place to pitch a tent. This question's gonna be worth two thousand one dollar bills. Flight attendants, prepare for takeoff. Right, imagine this, you're hiking through the woods and come across a dying man, but before he slips away, he gasps the word. <laughs> What's he most likely trying to tell you? The species of venomous snake that bit him, the type of toxic plant he chewed, the mythical forest troll that ambushed him, or that someone poisoned his trail mix? Alright. Oh yes, the formidable Gorp snake. <laughs> I don't know why. Player one, two on this. It's the trail mix. Yeah. I don't know. Gorf nope. Stands for good old raisins and peanuts. Oh. Oh. It's not. Laura. Mmm. Dino light. Dino light. Nineteen. We're getting close to the end. We went for a twenty-one question game. We did. 
And this one is not going to be down to these last three. Few okay, hang tight. Two Put questions. your fingers on your buzzers. Here's the Ooh. question. All in the family is to good times as cousin is to cousin, grandparent is to grandchild, uncle is to niece, or parent is to child. What? All in the family to good times the TV shows, I think. I have no idea. I'm just going to guess. No. Go for it, Jake. I think you should go for Just it. Just try. Go for it. That's a no, then. Go for it, Jake. You, it's got 50 50 now. Now, see, then we'd be talking about All in the Family and the Jeffersons. <sighs> Uh, I was gonna go for two or the one I actually went for. Superstars, aren't you? But then you didn't. No, then I didn't. That's right. Good times was a spin-off of Mod, which was a spin-off of All in the Family. Okay. Okay, we need a category from player three. Three. What was three? The sky's falling. Twenty. The story behind this question is the sky is falling. Run for your lives. Two thousand. I reckon it is about the chicken little. Now we all know the story of Chicken Little and how yeah. he freaked out and thought the sky was falling around him. In July of 1979, citizens of the planet Earth, especially our friends in Australia, ran from large chunks of metal. I said chunks of metal. Oh. Player one, player three, who's taking? Player three. Yeah, uh, sorry, Flash Gordon. The first shuttle launch wasn't until 1981. <laughs> Skylab, the first U.S. manned space laboratory. <laughs> You're currently at zero, Dan. You're currently in the lead at zero. Oh, I think this is the last question. Oh, uh, let's go for two because I, I want number three, but I, it sounded like cloves. I don't want to be. You gotta have the green. Gotta have the green, bitch. What's happening right now? What? Jack attack. What's a jack attack? attack. Get away from my pain. Ah, uh, I see. This is the you have to monster mash. Po Pokey monster. You have to buzz when things match. And you remember the clue. Oh. You gotta have the green. Remember that clue. By the end of this jack attack, we'll find out how much green you got. Oh, I think that was it. Yeah. Oh no! I still have green and fresh. Ah, we both worked it out. Oh, ah, Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> Plant nursery. Ah! Oh, keep buzzing when you buzz. <laughs> what? I don't know. Oh, I think it is. It might be Superman. I'm not sure. Oh. What? what? Gawain. Sir Gawain's foe. What? Who? Green Day. War movie. Green. Oh, that was. That, I think that was it. Green Berets. What? How do you. It's a movie. Vegetable spokesman. Oh, come on! I'm just too fast. Oh, it's Mr. Douglas again. No. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> You're right there, Dan. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yeah! So we've been first to last in that last round. Congratulations, Jake! Yeah! <laughs> Turns out you do know Jack! Yes! A good friend of mine. I guess that's it then. I really enjoyed this! Thank it was you. fun, wasn't it? Thank you for watching! Bye!